Welcome Capricorns. I'm back y'all with another video. So I'm going to use the Millennial Oracle today. All right, we're going to pull the energy from there and then we're going to pull some tarot. Okay, so newbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. We're going to jump right into this thing. Go ahead and get this key, okay? All right, so Capricorn. Any message for the Capricorn, please? What's going on with the Capricorn? It's on the Capricorn's mind. What's going on with the Capricorn? Ooh, now we just had this for Scorpio. Um, influencer and digital detox. Some of y'all are trying to get off the internet. Some of y'all are trying to take a break from the internet. It's like the vibe on there is just like people putting each other on blast. And it's like you're not even trying to go down that direction. You're not even trying to go down. You feel like the, the energy on the internet is just a little too messy for you. So some of y'all are an influencer. Like you get online and you do what you do online. But some of y'all are like, you know, yeah, it's time for me to get off. I'm trying to get up off, off the sh I'm trying to get off. All right. Now we got Stim. This is a lover boy, lover girl. You're getting the green light to go for it. You, you've been getting some lights, okay? But really, the relationship could be flatlining. But even though online it may look a certain way, you may be getting a lot of validation for it, a lot of compliments. You may be getting the green light, approval, and extreme likes. But really, the relationship could be going through a flat line. This is a relationship or a situation is dying, the conversation went dead, or you're losing interest. All right. So it looks like even though you want to get off, you want to take a break from social media, it looks like you're back online and you're doing all this flexing online. All right. You might be um, getting love bombed or you're love bombing someone, showering them with attention to influence their behavior. You may be using a little bit of manipulation tactics. You might have some hidden intentions, okay? But, yeah, it's, it's, this is about the internet, okay? And, um, your image is on the internet, All right, so somebody could have some receipts, okay? Needing answers, not believing what you're told. You need evidence or proof or you're doubtful. Someone, you could be dealing with someone that's younger. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You could be dealing with someone that's younger or you're young. You know, you're free. You're self-enterprising. You're adventurous. You're diverse. And you're your own individual, but there's something that you're not sorry about. There's something that you didn't, you know, you don't care what other people think. You're unremorseful about it and you don't care. And you felt like you was going to miss out on something. Um, it could be somebody clapping back one line, but you just feel like, you know, you, you don't want to miss it. So that's why you possibly are going back to, to social media. And then here you go. Now you about to bounce again. Y'all make up y'all mind. <laughs> y'all make up y'all mind. Okay. I see a bit of partying going on, a little bit of fun. So maybe that's when you take your break. That's when you get off or that's when you get on. It's when you know it's something going on. But I see y'all like popping in and out on the, in, on the internet scene. Popping in and out. In and out. Okay. So... Tell me more. What's going on on the internet? What's, what's going on on the internet? Ooh, it's a lot of capping going on on the internet. It's a lot of capping going on on the internet now. Yeah, see, somebody, it's a lot of capping going on because we got shipping. They believe in the relationship, wishing you stay together, rooting for the partnership. Okay, so somebody 
could be online. That's why Simp is here. Okay, so maybe it's like somebody is looking too lover girlish, lover boyish online. Um, and you have people who are watching you. You're an influencer. And people are rooting for your partnership. And I see a lot of turned up, a lot of fun, a lot of partying, a lot of drug sex, just being excited about life. But it's like when you around this person, we got can't even and stay. You can't even stand really being around this person. Look at this trash. They. It's like something. It's, it's capping for the internet. Okay. Let's go and get into it. What's going on and jump into it? Tell me more. Anyone this is for the Capricorn? What's going on with the Capricorn? What's up with all this capping going on? Like all this, what's up with this? What's going on on the internet for the Capricorn? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, I just saw the lovers. Some of y'all could have uh, be done with a Gemini or there's a, it's in regards to your love life being on the internet. All right, we're going to stop right here. All right, we got the star in. Oh, <laughs> so it looks like y'all trying to get a little bit of payback. Possibly towards an Aquarius or a um, Sagittarius. Okay. All right. So from what I'm seeing, it's like, yeah, and I hope you mad. It, it's, it's like a lot of, what is this going on? Now we got the seven of pentacles and the four of cups, two of swords, five of pentacles. Okay, now, some of y'all feel like disappointed. Maybe you invested in something and it's not going. You're not getting the benefit, the full benefit out of it. We got the seven of swords that just jumped out. So maybe there's some deceit going on. There's some sneakiness going on. Okay, tell me more about two of swords. Five of wands. All right, so somebody's competing for this King of Wands. <laughs> Leo, Sagittarius, Aries could be, but this person could be very handsome, very outgoing, very fun. A bunch of people, you know, take to this person. I see a lot of spying going on. What's the five of wands in? Yep. <laughs> Y'all trying to piss somebody off. Y'all trying to piss somebody off. Somebody. What's the temperature? It could be a Sagittarius. Okay. You're surprised that somebody is so calm. Okay. Um, yeah, see, here's this perfect relationship here. Okay. Six of Wands and the Two of Cups. So this is like a social media um, relationship where, or YouTube or something like that. 
where everybody's like is in you guys' business. Now, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be dealing with the water sign. I feel like, tell me more about the King of Pentacles. I see you investing in something. We got the lovers and the six of swords. Okay, so possibly you were patient in a situation, but you finally decided to move on. We got the lovers here, so you made a choice. You made a choice in love. Want the lovers here? Yeah. The magician and the page of wands. I see you tried to wait to make this decision. Possibly because you already had something going on with the four of wands. This could have been already, you already had a situation going on. This even could have been a marriage. But something didn't go as planned. Maybe you were trying to keep some, some things on the low. But somebody could have made you, you know, go ahead and make that decision. I see the challenge is the four of cups. So you ended up being disappointed or bored. Why the four of cups here? <laughs> the magician and the page of wands jump back out. Why is the four of cups here? The knight of pentacles. Yeah, I see you having regrets. I see a third party here. Um, It's like... With this final decision, you're regretting it, and it looks like you could be thinking about a water sign, Queen of Cups, and a Nine of Swords here. You wanted to keep something private, but I feel like it got out. Now, tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. The Empress and the Five of Cups. I see you having regrets. You kind of regret something. Maybe someone could have even got pregnant. I feel like somebody is pretty popular. Like somebody is popular. Somebody is very well known with the Six of Wands and the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male. But somebody is like, everybody knows this person. This person is pretty popular. You've been watching this person or they've been watching you, okay? Like I said, some of y'all could be in a connection. Um, why is the Empress here? Ace of Wands. Someone definitely could, could, have, could be pregnant or could have been pregnant recently. You may have found out that somebody was pregnant. I see you having kind of regrets. Or someone has a new a new um, girlfriend or boyfriend. Oh, it's sex-based. Yeah. Knight of Wands and Ace of Wands. Could be a Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, yeah, it's really sex-based. You may just had decided to kind of take a break from this connection. Maybe you feel like this person talks too much. Um, now with the five of pentacles here. I see somebody not accepting somebody's apology. Um, in the future. Maybe this is a thought. Like, maybe you feel like. I see you spying. Here's, I see some gossiping going on and this water sign keeps popping up. <clears throat> you could be spying on the water sign. You keep, I keep hearing, I knew I should have kept that on the low. We should have kept it on the low. But there was a breakup and then this cycle ended. Now, you, some of y'all could be dealing with the Leo or Capricorn like yourself. 
somebody here could be saying they should have gave something some thought before ending it before ending this situation like i keep seeing um wishing that you would have waited but to make your decision your final decision so now you got now there's just some, a lot of sneakiness going on and then you have to make the decision you have to make the decision on how to move forward and i feel like some of you may be stuck in the past holding on to the past now your guard is definitely up in the past for sure yeah some of y'all may be y'all been being sneaky y'all been sneaking around <laughs> y'all been sneaking around maybe y'all got caught Maybe I just recently got caught. We got the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. And some of you just decided to go ahead and tell the truth. Possibly to this Leo. Maybe there was an ending. A cycle ended. And there could have possibly been a breakup. Or some of y'all put the situation on hold. But you try to keep something a secret. You try to keep something a secret. But I feel like it got out. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, we got the devil, which is you guys' energy, the strength card, which is Leo's energy, and the world. I feel like maybe a chapter closed or some type of truth got out, okay? Four of Wands again. And I'm getting a final decision. I'm getting like y'all made a decision that you may not be too happy with, that, with the decision that you made. You feel stuck, but I see you trying to press forward. But there's, you're still holding on to the past. And I still feel like you're trying to control the situation from the past. But we got this person that has already done walked away. This person gave up. They feel single. I keep seeing a marriage here. And I see somebody who's really, really popular and who's juggling. I feel like you tried to wait to end the situation, but I feel like y'all had some people in your ear. Now, we got the Ten of Pentacles for Future Energy. There we go. Lots of cards came out. Okay, so I do definitely see a marriage. Um, I'm getting like hiding it from everybody. The Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Hermit, and the Six of Wands. Either you're keep, you're trying to hide this relationship or somebody is hiding a marriage. Okay, somebody's trying to keep up an image um, or saying that this person changed or the, or you're trying to keep this image up and say, look, I'm, I'm a changed man, a changed woman because we got the emperor. This is the emperor or the empress energy and the will. Okay, so somebody's, this is the image that that's, you could be putting up. Why is the King of Swords here? You got some people around you that's waiting for you to regret some type of decision. I see two people here that's like kind of just waiting for you to wake up and realize what's going on. Um, they they feel like you you took a a big risk. You took a leap of faith. Um, some somebody feels like you should have stayed single with the four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. I see you juggling, and here's this queen of cups again. Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, you may have been juggling a water sign and a fire sign. Um, somebody got their heart broke in the process. And you're thinking like maybe you should have gave this some thought. Maybe you're hoping that you can talk to this other person. But it's, it's so much time has passed. Ten of Wands and the Three of Wands. So much time has passed. And I feel like this is something that you 
wanted to work on, but it didn't. It didn't work. So it looks like something is too far gone. Now, with the sun card here and your hopes and fears, four of pentacles and the three of wands. You could be holding on to a, to a Leo. I see you took a risk. This was your first time doing something too. Um, why is the fool here? Hey, you jumped into a connection. You jumped into this connection head first. Um, something ended badly. It ended badly. Seven of Wands and a Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands. It ended bad. Um, you was trying to just figure out if you were better off being single or in a connection. But somebody definitely walked away. Somebody definitely walked away. Now, the outcome is the Nine of Cups. You want both. You want both. You wish you could have both. You wish you could have both. I feel like you actually tried to get that. You you offered that to I'm getting two people. You offered this to two people. Whoever took the offer, then that's who you went with. Um gosh. Y'all want y'all cake and eat it too. <laughs> yeah, you got feelings for both of them. Um, um Yep, King of Cups. You got feelings for two people here. Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You could be married to this person or you live with this person or you've been with this person for a long time. I see you gave this person the offer. You offered them something. Even a proposal. Maybe you want to propose to this person or you did propose to this person. But... It's like you tried to keep it on the low. Somebody possibly needs to get a divorce. I see that as well, too. Somebody forced somebody to leave. This person, this fire sign could have forced you to leave who you were previously with. There possibly was a divorce or toss of divorce, but something had reach the end of the road the end of the road so okay so let's get this person's intentions because it was like and y'all energy was i remember you guys energy being like this in my previous reads like a couple months ago like i think i actually named a, a reading y'all want your cake and eat it too but this is something that looks like it's being upkept for an image um maybe you are in love with one but you like the perks of the other one like so you can't you feel like you can't choose all right, so let's get the intentions. Let's get the intentions of the, of this person that you're with. The person that Cap is with, what are their intentions? We got self-indulgent. They could want you to themselves, okay? They may be wanting you to cut off all everyone else, okay? They're like, oh, well, they'll heal. Okay, right now, this is my paradise. And this person could be wanting to get married to you. They want to take things to the next level. Yeah, this person, they'll chase you. They will chase you. And then we got not today. <laughs> this person wants you all to themselves. They will chase you down. This person loves you. Okay, we got love. Unconditional love, self-love, passion, affection, attraction. This person loves you. Okay, they're willing to 
jump hurdles and jump fences and waddle in mud and the dirt for you. <laughs> but the thing about it is, is this person will mirror you, okay? They will mirror you. If you, whatever energy you give them, they'll give that back. So if you love bomb them, they're going to love bomb you. If you give them a shitty, a shitty attitude, they're going to give you one too. But this is all love. And I feel like this person will go above and beyond. And they watch you. They stalk you. This person is addicted to you. <laughs> this person is addicted to you. They'll seduce you. They'll get you back around them. They'll do whatever they need to do to keep you around. All right. All right. So that's what I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.